Negotiations continue tonight to prevent a possible SEPTA strike. There was a midnight deadline, but union members say there's been progress in the ongoing talks with management. If employees do hit the picket line, it could cause havoc for riders throughout the city, including tens of thousands of Philadelphia students who depend on SEPTA to get to school. Action reporter Leland Pender live in Old City tonight with the latest. Leland. Well, Rick, negotiations have wrapped up tonight. Just a short time ago, we heard from both SEPTA and the union, and they say they are committed to reaching common ground on this matter, but they haven't done so yet. But the important thing here, both saying there will not be a strike after midnight tonight. Some are worried about getting to school. It's an everyday essential to me. Others are worried about getting to work. I have my own car, yeah. but um, my son takes it to work. But for now, they can lay those worries to rest. Union leaders emerge from the Wyndham with an update on negotiations, saying a strike will not happen as they continue. The money wasn't on the table, but the safety issue, the bulletproof vest, the bulletproof jackets. Uh, we went and visited SEPTA's uh, virtual room and talk about doing some things that's going to protect the members and the riding public. So it, it was all in all a good day. A strike would impact bus, subway and trolley service in the city. Riders are making alternate plans just in case. I'd probably lock some more steps throughout each day. I would have to pay more and way more for Ubers or for lifts or for, so for taxis. I might have to take maybe the suburban station and get down here and then walk. So that's like a half an hour, 45 minute walk, but I got to do what I have to do. SEPTA is currently trying to shore up a $240 million budget deficit created by the expiration of COVID relief money. Recently, SEPTA proposed fare increases and eliminated free parking, but the Transportation Authority says a long-term state level solution is needed. There hasn't been a solution at the state level to add funding for public transportation we're left with a deficit, and that's having a direct impact on these contract negotiations. And while the union, again, is not calling for a strike right now, it is still on the table as these talks continue. They'll be back at that bargaining table tomorrow at 2 p.m. But all SEPTA services on Friday will operate as normal. Live here in Old City, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Leland, that's good news. Thank you.